Okay, you guys, I wanted to, before we jump into talking about um, our crochet inspiration today, I wanted to tell you guys, let me take my glasses off. <laughs> I wanted to tell you guys where I got the inspiration from. And so this right here is the book that I get the inspiration from. There is two more videos on my channel that has um, the crochet inspirations and I got them from this book as well. And so I really, I got this book, you guys, in 2008. And there was some beautiful stuff in here. And I looked it up. And so if you guys want to get the book, um, I, Etsy is selling it. Some people on Etsy. And um, there's another one called Thrift Book that is selling it as well. And of course, when I bought this book, I bought it at full price. But right now... It is not full price. <laughs> so um, if you want to get the book, here it is right here. And this is the name of it. And so I have been really loving this. And um, it brings me inspiration. And so I thought I'll share um, with you guys um, the inspiration that it brings me. So uh, without further ado, let's jump right in to Crochet Inspirations. All right, you guys, look at this piece right here. This is called the Sahara Shaw. Isn't this absolutely beautiful? You guys, we got a lot going on here. Now, I am going to make this one day. <laughs> I don't know when. Um, it is so inspiring from um, the embroidery work. The crochet, the crochet stitches. Um, we got bead work going on. Um, one of the things um, I actually love so much about this piece. We have the shells going up all the way around the piece. Then we have lever, le sorry, levels of levels of beautifulness. Stitches beadwork and the thing about this is you guys is that it is worked and increases depending on from the middle the instructions tells you to increase in the middle on the bottom um, then it actually is telling you to do rounds and so there is a lot going on here but the ending product is absolutely gorgeous so I'm going to turn the page right now and it's going to show us some of the, here it is. Oh my word guys. So they're just uh, showing us some of the work um, as far as what they did as embroidery work, uh, some bead work um, on some of the pieces. Right here we have embroidery work going. We have bead work and embroidery work we got to have embroidery work over here as well if you ever want to learn how to <laughs> do anything and if you are up to the challenge this piece right here i'm gonna pan it up some this piece is just beautiful so here they are here showing us what stitches that they are doing um, this one right here is this actually this gray piece, this gray and white and these beads, you guys, they're like coated in black and white, just absolutely beautiful. Then we have over here where they actually did the, cr the, uh, crosses. Now that is on the, um, actually on the end of the piece. And I'll show you guys that this one right here, this uh, piece right here that they're embroidering that piece is actually right here and I'll show you guys that as well on the bigger piece and then we come over here guys I'm going to pan this over some so you can see and it's showing us that the bead work so when they added the shell beads this is basically what they are doing I'm going to go ahead and hold that up so you can see. This is that they actually made the bead work on here with the shells and then the beads that coordinate to the shawl. Oh my word, you guys. And then this is the web that they used. As you can see here, 
they did the same thing. They're adding this whip, but what they're doing is they're creating a design of the white. So when you turn it over, it's a design from the front. <laughs> so there's no lost pieces in there. Isn't that beautiful? That's absolutely beautiful. And then I'm going to slide this over so you can see the... And then they give us this chart, you guys, of the things that we need to do. As far as these are the stitches that are in here. Um, we got the herringbone stitch, the fly stitch, which we saw them doing. And then we have the cross and brick stitch, which is right here. And then we have the cross stitch between the beads. So this shawl, I'm going to go right back to the shawl itself. This shawl have so much going on. But once again, you guys, it is absolutely beautiful. I, I'm just speechless because I have never seen anything like this before. And this is so inspiring to me. I actually want to create this because I know when I step out in this, I most definitely will be seen. This thing is gorgeous. So let me know what you guys think about it. Let me know. Have you ever um, attempt to do anything like this? Or if you ever seen anything like this before, I would love to know you guys. All right. That is it for me. I will see you guys in the next video and I hope that this was inspirational to you guys and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.